Heavenly Father, I want to take the time out today to pray over churches that are being targeted by antagonizers and by vandalizers, Father God. Where churches, Father God, are being attacked by very young people that have been influenced by any type of demons in mind control, engineering, Father God, by evil dark occultists or evil rulers of our society and in this world, Father God, to go and target churches and tear up things and vandalize things, Father God, and valuable property and valuable um, art, Father God, in the churches, and to rob and steal from churches as well as vandalize. So, Father God, I want to lift this up to you because it's becoming more rapid now and more mainstream, Father God, uh, for many people doing this now, Father God. And I know these people that are doing this are being influenced by evil spirits, Father God, by demons, Heavenly Father. So before I pray over this subject, Father God, this crucial situation and this subject, Father God, for churches that are being targeted and gain stock by demons operating through human agents of the devil, Father God, especially through younger people, Father God, and some like that's in their 30s, but mostly teenagers, Father God, I'm just going to take the time to pray and thank you first before I go into the subject of prayer. Father God, I just thank you and I praise you, Father God, for the wonderful God that you are, the mighty God you are. I thank you for your goodness and your kindness, for your grace and your mercy for a new day, that you are the divine creator, Father God. You are the only God, and you are the God that reigns forever. Your kingdom stands forever. Your kingdom reigns and rules forever above all kingdoms, Father God, and your kingdom is everlasting to everlasting, Father God. And you reign and rule forever ever, Father God, and you're the God, the most high God above all gods, Father. There is no other God but you, Father God, and I thank you and I praise you for that, Father God. You're the all-knowing God, omnipresent God, Father God, and you are the true divine creator of everything and everyone, Father God, that created heaven and earth, and you are the God of Israel, Father God, and I honor you, Father God, and I give you glory and honor to you, Father God, this morning, Father God, today, right now, Father God, you are worthy to be praised, Father God, and to be exonerated and honored Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and I praise you and exonerate you and I lift up the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Jehovah Yah, my Heavenly Father, for the great and mighty God that you are, the powerful, all-powerful God that you are. You are all-powerful and you are miraculous in all the works that you do, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for the great miracles that you do in the lives of your people and the lives of people on this earth, Father God. And I thank you, Jesus Christ, for you, Jesus, that you are all sufficient. Jesus, you are great and mighty and powerful and miraculous. You do miraculous things, Jesus, and you are loving and kind and merciful, Jesus Christ. You are the healer and the Savior and the Lord. And I thank you, Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross for all mankind and for me. Jesus Christ, and shedding your holy blood for our deliverance and redemption of sins and for my deliverance. I thank you, Jesus Christ, for your goodness. And I thank you that you are my hope. You are the Prince of Peace, Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are my rock and my shield and my fortress, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, and I give you glory and honor to you, Father God. I praise you and I thank you, Father God. I love you so much dearly, Father God. You are so awesome, Father God. There is no God, other God like you, no one that compares to you, Father. No one that can do miracles like you, who loves like you, who has mercy for you, have mercy for others, not for you, but mercies for others and for me and for your people, Father God, and no one 
has power as great as yours, Father God. No one compares to you, and you do miracles so great, Father God, and I give you glory and honor to you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy. Father God, your mercies are new every morning and fresh every morning, including this morning, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I praise you and I give you all the glory and the honor to you alone, Father God. For you are worthy to receive glory and honor, Father God. You are a great and mighty good God. And I thank you for your goodness upon me and your people, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name for deliverance. You are the deliverer, the mighty deliverer. You are my helper and sustainer, Father God. You are my peace and my joy. You are my rock and my shield and my refuge and my fortress, Father. I put my trust in you and confidence in you. And I thank you for what you're doing, Father God. The miracles that you're doing and the supernatural intervention that you're dealing with, Father God, concerning this situation with churches being targeted, Father God, by vandalism, Father God, and vandalizers in Jesus Christ's name, that you are supernaturally intervening in this in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you will supernaturally intervene in this situation, Father God, with churches being targeted, Father God, by vandalism. Father God, by the spirit of vandalism and by gang stalking legion of demons attacking churches in this way through operating through human agents of the devil, operating through workers of darkness, Father God, workers of iniquity in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I pray, Father God, I give all the vandalizers and the workers of iniquity that go around vandalizing churches all over the world and all over America and Canada and everywhere where there's churches, Father God, and going around vandalizing and robbing people and tearing up property and offices and and art in the church, Father God, and monuments or statues or whatever, Father God, and stealing uh, musical equipment and tearing up musical equipment and in offices and attacking clergy people, Father God, in the churches as well. Father, I pray that you, Heavenly Father God, will release your correcting fires and convictions upon the vandalizers and deliver them from the demons that's operating through them, that's influencing them to do this from the deep mind control father god that's been engineered against them from evil dark occultists father god to deliver them from any manipulative spirits father god demonic spirits that's causing and influencing these younger people and these middle aged people to go into churches father god to vandalize churches and to vandalize clergy people and and church people, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and, and church leaders, and to vandalize windows and offices and, and musical equipment, and, and also rob churches, Father God, from their expensive um, musical equipment and other things, and destroy um, art, Father God, statues and stuff, monuments or whatever, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, that you will warn these evil doers that does that, Father God, that you will let them know what they're doing is wrong and that you will deliver them from demons, Father God, that their demons will be cast out of them, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, that's, that's influencing them to go and do these things, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, that you will lease the blood of Jesus Christ to break these evil spirits off of these younger people that's going out doing that. These spirits of vandalism, these spirits of anger and rage, Father, and frustration, Father God, and entitlement spirits, Father God, and controlling spirits that's influencing them to do this. These spirits of destruction, Father God, and terrorism and vandalism, Father God, and theft spirits, Father God. And all evil entities and deities that's influencing off of these younger people and off of the all ages of people, young, maybe in the 30s as well, Father God, close to middle age, that's causing them to do this, Father God. These spirits of anger and rage, these spirits of vandalism and terrorism and violence, Father God, off of them with the blood of Jesus Christ, with your power and your anointing, your mighty hand, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray that you. Father God, would lease your ministering angels to speak to these 
vandalizers, Father God, and to minister to them, to convict them to stop to stop vandalizing the churches and the people and the clergy people in these churches everywhere in this world, Father God, everywhere in America, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, that you will send your angels to arrest the demon spirits that's operating through the vandalizers and the human agents of the devil, Father God, to arrest these evil spirits and convict these evil spirits, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ to persecute every demon spirit that's operating and tormenting the vandalizers to go target churches and vandalize churches and people and the churches in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you for making a quick awakening to the vandalizers, Father, to show them what they're doing is wrong, that you will help them realize that they're doing is wrong and is evil and they being rebellious against you, Father, and they're opening a door for their lives to be cursed, Father God, by coming against the innocents, coming against your people and the churches and, and tearing up property and other people's property because it's a violation and it's wrong. I thank you for helping them realize that and that their demons will be cast out of them. That's influencing them to do this, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, whether it's through any type of mind-controlling demons, Father God, as well, that you will break any mind-controlling spirits, Father God, and spiritual blindness off of the vandalizers, Father God, with your power and your anointing in the blood of Jesus Christ, and you will burn and destroy these evil spirits of vandalism, Father God, that's operating through the violators Father God to vandalize churches with your holy fires down to the ashes to the ground the vandalism spirits Father God the evil forces Father God the evil demonic spirits down to the ashes to the ground with your holy fires in Jesus Christ's name and that you release chastisement upon these vandalizing demons, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ. That you will pour the blood of Jesus Christ upon these evil entities and deities as operating through the vandalizers, Father God, to attack churches and clergy people and to rob and steal and vandalize and violate churches, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I pray, Heavenly Father, God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will put adjudication and eradication to this, that you will send your angels, your warrior angels, on assignment, Father God, to put a stop to this vandalism, Father God, of churches and vandalism and attacking clergy people in churches and church people in the churches, Father God, everywhere in the world, everywhere in America and Canada, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for sending your angels with unquenchable fire to burn up every demon, every evil entity and deity that attack the churches, Father God, that target the churches with vandalism and theft and robbery in Jesus Christ's name and terror, Father God, terrorism spirits and violent spirits in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, I understand that a lot of the young people are frustrated with uh, hypocrisy in religious churches, Father God, and stuff. They're fed up with it, Father God, and they fed up with the human trafficking and the churches participating in it, Father God. The son of the churches that they're attacking are participating in this behind closed doors, and I pray that you will wake up the people in these churches, Father God, to pray against the demons. I'm glad that they have a forgiving heart toward the vandalizers and the evil workers of iniquity. But they don't need to forgive the devil nor the demons, Father, that they need to bind up and defeat these demons, Father God, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, and that you will wake them, the people up in these churches, the leaders in these churches, to start taking authority against every evil spirit that attack their churches, Father God, and vandalize their churches, and not give a sleepy eye to the demons, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that, Father God, to pray that these vandalizers will be delivered from their demons and repent, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And not to tolerate the evil of the devil, Father God, and turn their cheek for the devil to, to blow the other cheek up, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father, I pray that you will send your angels to, to encamp around the churches, Father God, 
and to protect these churches from all evil danger and harm and from vandalizers Father God in Jesus Christ's name Father I pray Father God that you will send your angels to keep all evil entities and deities away from these churches from being harmed and attacked and vandalized in any type of way from being targeted by evil uh, gain stalking demons and satanic mobbing demons out